What was the best moment you watched after you like you got up and started screaming around when you were a kid or maybe now? Uh, more right now, but I, I watch soccer in a different way. I mean, yeah. like, you know, for, for us as, as players, you always watch to, to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, so you study the, the way the, the, the player that you mm -hmm. identify yourself, mm -hmm. yourself the way you move. Yeah. Um, and then if you like like a coach, mm -hmm. the way he lets the team play and start the team. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have like, you know, a team that I cheer for. I just like to watch soccer in general. Yeah. Before you watch this video, use our promo code with Cloud with J and J. It's a phenomenal machine that helps you mentally and physically. Use Calibian Sport 20 for 20% off. Calibian Sport 10 for 10% off. Highly recommend it. Uh, but like I said, Calibian Sport 20 for 20% off and Calibian Sport 10 for 10% off. Hey guys, welcome to Calibian Sports. I have a special guest, professional Italian uh, soccer player uh, who played for the New York Cosmos and also played in Serie A Italian team. Uh, Emmanuel. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So uh, tell us who you are and what do you do? All right. So my name is uh, Emmanuel Sembroni. I'm, um, I'm an Italian professional soccer player. Um, I moved to the United States one year ago mm -hmm. and um, moved to New York with my wife. Um, get to, to experience um, the city, the culture. At the beginning was, you know, a little challenge, but uh, I'm very happy that it worked out really well. And I got in touch with New York Cosmos and I started playing for them and uh, we we had a great season mm -hmm. um we won the conference uh player of the year too right? you got player of the year oh yeah yeah that was <laughs> congrats man <laughs> oh, th thanks brother uh, thanks thanks it was very good i mean like you know yeah. we had a great experience competitively good yeah very good very good uh very good challenge i mean when you play for uh, such a good a good club as the cosmos yeah. all the teams that you're playing against they, they give like 200 percent because That's you true. know yeah. they want to they want to shine and, uh, and they want to of course uh play for the club that you are yeah. playing so it was Cause, very good because i know new york cosmos is a very famous team uh, i know players like pele played there a lot of legends played there from european too italian players like yourself too so talk about how how do you like you came from italy right talk to us like how do you like a whole different country now a whole different language whole different culture food tell us how was some of the difficult that you struggled living here i mean um or was there any difficult or you, did you adapt quickly or i adapt quickly but uh, yeah. of course uh nothing is easy in life um, yeah. the the change is uh it's more than what you expect when you live i mean like when you yeah. live you're very excited yeah uh, you very come emotional into, uh, exactly you <laughs> yeah. come into the u.s you know u.s is the dream of uh, uh, a majority of people in the world so yeah. you like you have a very high expectation yeah. and uh, you come over here you think that everything is for granted I mean like everything is easy but it's not like that yeah. nothing is for granted in life and you gotta like really work hard mm -hmm. and uh, cultural uh, shock is 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 high yeah so um, you got like you know you pass from uh, the excitement at the, at the beginning to a very hard transition time uh, okay. and then and then like you know let's say after one year yeah. i finally feel like you know settled comfortable uh, comfortable yeah. I, I i know everything i know how to move i know how to talk with people i know yeah. how, how to uh, understand it and then they understand me yeah. it's not uh, it's not about for me it was never about like um, a, lang a language with a block because yeah. I, I speak english i learned Eng mm. english in school Oh, so that's how you took um, English? Like, did you learn English? Yes, in back uh, in since I was a, a kid uh, in school, I uh, used to study the language, you know, I mm -hmm. come from Rome. Rome is very international. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, they teach you English from a uh, very young age, and mm -hmm. for me, it was easier. Mm -hmm. I imagine from people that come and they don't speak the language, that might yeah. be a bigger challenge. So talk to us the differences between soccer in Italy and soccer in the U.S. Like, what are some of the things that you see that are very different or maybe, like, competitive more here or competitive over there i mean like uh, anywhere you go on uh, space sports is yeah. competitive but um it's all about you know a challenge between you and yeah. and the opponent i feel like the u.s has a different culture in soccer no yes like, it is and italy is the way they it's like a religion there in soccer right i'm pretty sure it's yes <laughs> yes let's say that in my country we'll, yeah. we'll leave it like with more uh, more pressure yeah uh, especially when you play on the highest level, it's very, it's very difficult to have a, a life. Like, you know, your private life is under the spotlight. Everybody, yeah. everybody knows what you do, they're interested about what you do. I mean, it's, yeah. it's nice because uh, in a sense that uh, it, makes you, it makes you realize that 
all the sacrifice that you did you know you yeah. arrive to the top and you gotta and that's where it starts yeah i mean all the big um journey that you go through yeah when you arrive to the top yeah. it's like forget what you did now it, is time. it starts the competition yeah. but in america it's very it's a highly competitive yeah so it is the same but the pressure is way 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 less i mean like oh way get, less oh yeah yeah i mean like you know you you want to win you want to go but they have a different concept of pressure yeah you know of course over here you know the war is also yeah it's like uh it's like uh, everywhere in the world and the, the american system you know it's all about you know uh results on 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 work and uh, uh the goal that you achieve and uh you want to grow you want to yeah. be the best so good but it's different it's like uh, i enjoyed more Enjoy more here. I enjoyed more playing over here, and yeah. the thing is, the, the different thing that I've noticed is, over here, if you do good, yeah, people uh, give respect you, you more. awards. They respect you. Yeah, that's the big. Thing. Do you like see any like conflicts in the U.S. Like any difficult that to struggle in in soccer? Because I know it's more competitive in Italy than it is in soccer. And in 2018, they didn't make the World Cup. You know, and the, do you think do you see a, a struggle in the academy or in the the league, professional league? Or? I I think I think like um. Mm. Unfortunately, you know, um, United States and also because they do they do struggle some. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also Italy, no. Oh we yeah. Both didn't qualify oh, yeah, true, for yeah. for the World Cup. So yeah. I I got to experience both sides. And yeah. um, let's say that I want to say something positive about the American uh, yeah. an American soccer system. Yeah. I think it's growing like a yeah. really, really, really strong, and um, the 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 level is increasing year by yeah. year. You because see legends coming into the MLS and other yes, players. Yes. Bela, every, Rooney, every, everybody, yeah. everybody right now, no, wants to come to the U.S. because yeah. U.S. It, U.S. means progression. So yeah. people wants to get right now. So the, in ten years, yeah, I'm pretty sure the United States will be like very, very, very yeah. strong in soccer. Probably in ten years from now, we'll see a little players like Tyler Adam, Christian Pulisic. You know how they increase in soccer. And um, so, talk to us. Um, you also a nutrition coach, right? Or yes. So how does that? How tell me about your life? Like, what do you do? You, are you very specific about what you eat, or yeah? What do so you do? Um, since um, since two thousand and uh, and ten, yeah, I was sponsored by the Herbalife Nutrition as an athlete in Italy. So oh, okay. um, I always uh, liked, you know, uh, the products and the nutrition concept that they have, and uh, mm -hmm. I keep continuing from from that moment till now. So mm -hmm. it's like a. 11, 11 years almost of me consuming the products and uh, when I arrived to, to the US yeah. I thought there was going to be a good opportunity to start helping people you know I, I'm over 30s right now and I'm thinking about what I want to do to the future yeah. considering that I'm, I'm very like uh, um, on, on, I'm very on top yeah. of, uh, of the nutrition side which is, makes a difference for an athlete but also yeah. for for people in life, yeah. I said that that's a perfect company for me yeah. to to try to help people. That's what I do over here. I mean, like yeah. you know, with my with my partners, Irina and Daniel, uh, we have a studio in uh, in Manhattan, uh, in uh, Union uh, Union Square Park, uh, where we help people. Uh, yeah. We customize program for them, and we help them to achieve their goals and to have a healthy, active lifestyle. So, are you very strict? on the food what you eat be because yeah, I know you're a nutrition coach are you very strict on what you eat I know as a professional athlete you have to be very like be careful what you eat yes I <laughs> Cause, am uh, you know you have games you have practices you have the, the, the amount of hours you sleep and all that yes I am strict on food I mean yeah. like um, I'm, a, I'm also um, a specialist in fitness and nutrition oh okay so I'm, I'm very like attentive of what I eat mm -hmm. the portion portion is like a, another key factor for uh, for your body it's oh, like okay. you get you can have like you know healthy food uh the, the the greatest food on the earth but if you eat the wrong portion yeah that will, that will make the difference so you gotta choose the best yeah and make your uh, the portion that fits your your body type and you need so yeah. uh it's a uh, it's uh, interesting I, I do it with passion and for me it's not yeah. it's not something that i do like because i'm i have to mm -hmm. i do it because i enjoy doing it and it, and, it, and it has a huge impact on, uh, on myself on the field. Yeah. So tell us more about yourself. You outside of soccer, what do you do? You like watching Netflix, going to the park, going to the movies? Mm -hmm. You know, spending some quality time. What do you know, like to do? Like when you're not playing soccer, or when you're not have that pressure before games? Like, what do you like to do on your day off? All right. So um, 
I like to, you know, first I like to spend time with my wife, which, yeah. which is the most important <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, I mean, uh, we, we always like, you know, caught up with Family work connected, and, yeah. and career. So it's good to have a Someone time like, together. So yeah. we, li we like to do sports. So also yeah. outside of sport, oh. we like to do sports. I'm, um, I'm also a fitness trainer. Oh, okay. So I, I, li I like to enjoy my time to work out my wife yeah. and uh, uh, we do nutrition together. We m movies, not really, but we love we love movies. We watch Netflix, yes. Netflix, yeah. Netflix, yes. yes like no. when you travel out, does it like make it more difficult for you to build a relationship with you? Your, your it is. It yeah. is hard. It is hard. Because I know professional athletes struggle a lot with the family. You know, the the, yes. the partners. The yes, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of sacrifice. I mean, like, yeah. but it's it's a positive one. You know, it's yeah. not something that you don't enjoy because you do what you love. But yeah. Uh, yes, and a family perspective is, is tough. You know, you have yeah. to, you need to have like a, a partner that uh, that supports you, yeah. and you know, and she's and she's aware of how it is going to be. Yeah. So I'm very, I'm very lucky to have my wife because she always pushed me to to reach my goal. She, she enjoys the experience as well, so it yeah. really makes my my job easier. Go through, together yes. going through the journey. Yes, yeah. strong chemistry. I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. So I'm um, unfortunate. Yeah. So talk to us like before a game. Like, what's in your mindset? How do you put, how do you put yourself like very calm and not you know be nervous? Or how do you put yourself in a, like in a situation where like you know I got this, and I'm not gonna you know struggle in the game. I mean, like uh, the preparation of the game during the week is is key. Yeah. It's like if you prepare the game. In do you listen to music or you just go? Um. I know some yeah, we do have music. We do have music in a, in the locker room. Yeah, we yeah. love to listen music, but it's it's, um, it's very uh, singular, individual. Like uh, for example, I I don't like to listen music for myself. Mm -hmm. I just like to this to station. focus on what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. Little details, you know. That that's what they make the difference. And yeah. uh, and as I said, the preparation of the game comes from the preparation during the week. Mm -hmm. If you don't prepare the week. In a proper way, you gotta arrive to the game. You can be the most focused person yeah. on earth, but if you don't prepare yourself that in the week, yeah. you're not gonna perform. Because what I see is many athletes are training very physical, but they're not training their mindset. So when they go in the game, they're very confused, very you know, very uncalm. They have pressure going on. So that's it. So do you train yourself mindset too and exactly. physically? Or? Exactly. You so what are some of the ways that you train that? Uh, yeah. the, the mind. That's what makes a difference. Yeah. Um, when you when you go to the highest level, majority of the player, which is 90% of the player, is because they have strong mindset, and of course great quality. But the great yeah. quality without a strong mind mindset is not gonna work. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have different levels, you know. Yeah. You see, like very gr good good players, mm -hmm. like with uh, enormous talent in lower division, mm -hmm. but then when you arrive to to a very crucial game, a crucial moment with the pressure. And mindset that is not that strong, then like they get, as you say, confused. Yeah. I mean, like they don't express themselves mm hundred -hmm. percent. So yeah. that's what I think that um, mind work is key for athletes. So mm -hmm. you gotta really train your mind before you train yourself. Also, do you meditate, or how do you keep yourself like back to yourself, like the best version of yourself? How do you like like practice and train more of yourself outside the field, or you know? I mean, like um, I used to, I used to do yeah. uh, yoga. Oh, okay. A lot, and uh, uh, that um, when I was in Italy, and that helps me to go through things, move forward. You know, you have a lot of difficult moments yeah, in your yeah. career, and I think yoga is very good for for athletes and for people in general. But also, also studying Sorry. and keep your mind open. You know, uh -huh. um, is inspire and be inspired. Mm -hmm. That's something that always. Oh keep yeah. your keep you in the game. I think it's very important to lead by example. If you are an example for yeah. people, then like you know, people will be an example for okay. somebody else. Yeah. Um, I know you in Italy. So why did you choose New York? Right? Was it because you like it here? I know it's pretty busy. Very. I, I mean, like you know, here. my <laughs> my my wife. Uh, she's yeah. American. So oh, okay. we met in Italy, and uh, she got she got transfer. She was working for Pfizer in uh, in Rome. Mm -hmm. She got tra transfer for Pfizer in New York. Oh, okay. So we, we were speaking about the opportunity, and we said, uh, "Let's go back to the states yeah. and let's try." It were you nervous experience. at first, or you, were you nervous at first? Did you no, know? I was very excited. I'll be honest <laughs> oh, with really? you. I was like, "Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have like a strong love for this country." I mean, yeah. like I was born like that. I always wanted to. Experience Come here in the, the US, US. Yeah. yes, yes. I, th I think it's 
Yeah. It's a lot that it makes you grow a lot. Um, what do you miss about Italy? The food, the, the language. <laughs> <laughs> so what is something that you miss in Italy that doesn't have the U.S.? Um, I miss the family. The family, yeah. See, yeah. I miss my family because, you know, um, yeah. I'm the only child. Oh, okay. I don't have brothers and sisters, so I understand that for my mom and dad is a bit of a trouble. But, you know, <laughs> um, yeah. yes, food, food also, it's mm -hmm. in Italy, you know, it's very known for food yeah. and, and the and the weathers and the weather. Yeah. Uh, but um, there is also good food in the yeah. U.S. So um, yeah. it's more family, you know, it's more yeah. family. My oh, of course, my our, our own. That's what I miss, you know, yeah. the the fact that uh, you know n right now we we that we live over here, but it's not our home. So it's like you know, the yeah, home comes it. I mean, yeah. yes. but uh, we'll get settled yeah. soon. So. so when you were in Italy, what were some of the best moments you had there? I know you won a couple of the titles there. What were some of the best moments? You're like you know, what? I'm a mm. big best memory of my life. <laughs> so professionally speaking. Yeah. Oh, and, and yeah. Professionally All right. Speaking. So um, the first one is when I when I played my first game with. Uh, uh, Itali Italian national team, oh, okay. uh, at the age 18, mm -hmm. and um, they and they play the, the national anthem, and you're oh. kind of like, oh my God, it's happening! You, <laughs> you know, get goosebumps going oh, on. Yeah, oh God, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a lot. So that yeah. was like a something that I will never forget. Yeah. And um, sec second thing, all uh, you know, the I don't want to say the trophies, you know, because yeah. for me it's like oh, it's only the moment materi material, material, you know, it's like um, yeah, you, you you play for winning trophies, but yeah, for me I don't care. For me, what what I, what I have in my heart is the people that I met through the journey, the relationship that we built, mm -hmm. the things that I that I left uh, now that I'm you know over thirty to the young players mm -hmm. and before was the things that I learned from the older, older players. players. So yeah. that's what matters to me. So mm -hmm. all the relationship and people mm -hmm. that I met and I'm grateful uh, that I met them in my, my journey. So when you were going through this journey, who helped you, like who mentored you to be like the best version of yourself? Who helped you, who guided yeah. you to be the best you know, player or person? You probably had a mentor or how, how did you, uh, who inspired you the most and helped you? All right, let's say that I come from um, family of soccer players mm -hmm. I mean you know my dad my uncle my grandfather cousin my dad cousins they, they were all soccer players you know because mm -hmm. um, they all ask that they don't have the you know professional that like, a mentor that someone can help them you yes know? So, so I would say family I family. would say family was always you know supporting there is, yeah supporting of course uh, mm -hmm. unconditional support you know you you live you I left home when I was 16 and never never came back basically so oh, wow. uh, for them was you know lots of sacrifice mm -hmm. and big, there is also sacrifice. there is also the reason why you know I always push myself yeah uh, over the limit because you know I the sacrifice that they did you know seeing my family going to work oh, really yeah. hard and you know yeah waking up early in the morning for me is like a reason that you know Some when if I make it I'm pretty sure they they will feel that they're making it as well so yeah. it's something that I'm so you got player of the year talk to us about that how, how did you train very hard for that was that your goal or how did you how did you feel when you get that <laughs> <laughs> i didn't i actually i was i was surprised i mean like you know because yeah. i didn't i didn't know that was happening or yeah. i wasn't gonna be rewarded mm -hmm. um was that like one of your biggest accomplishments in, in it career? was nice yeah, yeah yeah it was it's nice i mean you know because i i am if when you when you win something or when yeah. people recognize you for something it means that it has been, you know, a story behind. And yeah. Of course, without my my teammates and the staff and the club, I wouldn't have achieved this, you know, yeah. because the they allowed me to they allowed me to uh, express myself uh, in all the way, and yeah. also the relationship with the fans and the people. It was amazing from day one, you know. I guess, yeah. like you know, they I understand I understand they understood them and they understood me. So mm -hmm. we created this this chemistry and. What I get to the field, you know, like I always give uh, myself, yeah, hundred percent, you know. But it's all, if you don't play with art and heart, yeah, and um, with passion, and you don't love what you do, you see you it. Like, and yeah. That's that's I guess what they see through me, and uh, and I see and I saw through them. Did you struggle a lack of chemistry with your teammates when you first got here, or did you take it very seriously? No, it was amazing. Amazing. I, I was amazing. Like yeah. yeah, I already knew. Uh, you had a mind what you uh, do. Lots of, no, lots of players for Cosmos, you know, we got to play together in, in off-season. Oh, okay. When I arrived, was off-season and I, and I met them randomly. Mm -hmm. And we built this chemistry right away, so I'm grateful uh, 
tur metem and you know there are captain uh, yeah. uh, no, our striker bloody budget and you know, like and then right. Vela, mm-hmm. which is our captain i mean like you know they did a lot for me and i and i tried to do to give like, you know more than 100 yeah. percent to to them because you know they helped me a lot through this transition you know, oh so. yeah and also the team it's amazing you know, amazing yeah. relationship it was fantastic the family there right oh it's like yeah. so talk know, like amazing. in the locker room do you guys motivate each other to yes to, yeah. i mean this team like you know the yeah. cosmos team of mm-hmm. uh 2019 was a great a great group of uh of people yeah. great group of people so that's why you know we did what we did mm-hmm. and we could have done more but it was our first year so you know now we put the, the base for yeah. the for the future. Now there's a big expectation, I guess, in the next season. Yes, I mean, like it, it is all. There is always a big expectation with yeah. Cosmos, you know, mm-hmm. because the big this club, club, this club, club is is known in all the world. So yeah. you gotta win. Yeah. It's like uh, if you play for Juventus in Italy, you gotta win. Yeah, you gotta win every game. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's it's not a problem for us because if yeah. you don't play for winning, what you play for? So yeah, it's, yeah, sure. We yeah. just, you know, we just like uh, the good thing about. This club is the family concept that starts yeah. from the top and ends with us in the, in the locker room. So, you know, it's very good. So, I know you have a lot of fans out there. Um, how does it feel having fans, people supporting you? Like, what was going through your mind? Like, what do you like is that, like, something that you're very proud of yourself? Or? About, about the fans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I mean, there's always I mean, I, I, love, I love the interaction with people. I mean, yeah. Like, in general. They can be fans or they can be people that I don't even know. I yeah. just like to socialize, you mm-hmm. know, I think it's it's very important to always be yourself yeah. and um, o- open yourself to people so they can open to you and it's yeah. nice to share stories, you know, yeah, I think true. sharing right now is, is something very, very important and they can impact life, you know, yeah. in, in, in general, so wh- why don't do it, you know? Yeah. Five seconds to answer what I, what I asked you, all right? Okay. All right, ready? Name three Italian food. Uh, pasta, pizza, uh, patate. Ah, right, that's one point. All right, ready? Name three players from the MLS. Uh, Ibrahimovic, Vela, and uh, Bradley. Ah, good. <laughs> In your league? In my league? Yeah. Badic, Zetela, Agoli, Galbao. Ah, okay. Ready, last one. Name three players that won the Ballon d'Or. Ronaldo, Messi, and um, Cannavaro. Oh, there we Cannavaro. go. Cannavaro. Cannavaro. All right, there we go. Wow, so you know about a lot of soccer, right? Yeah. So do you always grew up watching soccer? Well, like, what was, what was the best moment you watched soccer? You like, you got up and started skimming around when you were a kid or maybe now? Uh, more right now, but I, I watch soccer in a different way. I mean, yeah. like, you know, for, for us as, as players, you always watch to, to learn. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, it's like, so you study the... The way the 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 player that you mm-hmm. identify yourself, mm-hmm. yourself, the way he moves, yeah. Um, and then if you like like a, a coach, mm-hmm. the way he lets the team play and the tactics. I mean, that's like for yeah. me, it's different. Uh, I I don't have like you know a team that I cheer for. Mm-hmm. I just like to watch soccer in general. Yeah. Talk to us. What's life after soccer? Will we have anything planned after soccer, or are you still not sure what you're gonna do after soccer? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I am sure 100% yeah. what I'm gonna do. Um, mm-hmm. Nutrition will be will be my 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 next career. I mean, it's it's already right now. So yeah. it's only it will be a small transition. Okay. Um. So it will be like more full time. You know yeah. what I mean? It's are you planning to still be in the sport or? Th- this this is something that I cannot say right now, mm-hmm. but of course you know sport will be always yeah. there. Yeah. You know, cause cause the background. Yeah. And of course I like sports, but for me, it's nutrition is what I'm gonna do. You know, it's like you know, I'm planning. Yeah. I'm, pa- I'm planning to open uh, with my with my wife and yeah. uh, nutrition clubs mm-hmm. here. Uh, n- I don't know exactly where, but. That's my Somewhere. goal. Yeah, that's a goal. And for me, uh, el- helping people is the way that I uh, mm-hmm. is the way in general. So that's what I'm gonna do. So is helping people your best thing that you want to do in life after you know everything. How do you want to help them? With uh, making the making the right choice mm-hmm. in nutrition about you know uh, help them to understand like how it's important and how yeah. it can impact your life, mm-hmm. your career, and your health. Yeah. You know, uh, choosing uh, the right nutrition means you know, having less problem when uh, when you get older. Yeah. You know, so and, and it, it keeps you active. I mean, it's it's like uh, the difference is big. Yeah. Um, for example, w- 
when you eat fast food yeah. or you eat, a, you eat a salad with, you know, uh, with fish or avocados or yeah. olive oil, lemon, for example. Yeah. No? That's a big difference. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, you know, you see, like, you know, first thing first, you, you're bloating. <laughs> fast food and with the salad, uh, you, you yeah. don't. Yeah, it yeah. keeps you unhealthy after exactly. a while. Exactly, and my, the, when, when you notice this is when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. You're not sore. It's like uh, you wake up, you're ready to go. Uh, when you eat heavy, you eat a lot and uh, fried stuff and, mm. you know, processed food. Unhealthy uh, food, fat food. That's bad. Mm -hmm. And also the look. It changed the oh look. Yeah, look. The skin is yeah. Very completely bad. different. Yeah. Um, so one last thing. What do you advise, you know, youth players to want to be at the highest level at the, at the NBA? What are some of the information or advice you can give to those uh upcoming professional athletes i mean like uh, just enjoy mm -hmm. just enjoy what you do mm. and uh, don't put pressure on yourself yeah. and uh, go through the journey because if you have quality and uh, you have the right support and you always humble that's another thing you gotta be humble if you want to make it humble is the way and um you will uh, you will arrive to the level you want, and you know perseverance and sacrifices. Yeah. Those are the, the, the main for. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.